I've listened to all y'all talk about moms and how good it is, and you don't know how lucky you are. When I was 10 years old, I met uh, my Aunt Kitty. She was my best friend's mom. And without her, I'm not sure if I'd be dead or I wouldn't be a good mom because she was the first good mom I'd ever seen. I mentioned my family is crazy. Well, my mother's still here, but she's the craziest of them all. I'll give you one little anecdote. When I was 16, she got the bright idea to give me a six, sweet 16 party. I was off at boarding school. And at home, I'd been <coughs> kind of semi off and on dating my best friend. He lived down the street from me, and we'd known each other since we were five. He was a wonderful, wonderful guy. Well, in boarding school, I was dating somebody else. She invited both of them. Ooh. That's my mom. Oh. <laughs> so y'all are very lucky. <laughs> I deny that you exist. You are a lie. You appear at the worst possible moments grinning. My stomach clenches and my teeth grind. My smile is erectus. Long ago, I vanquished you. I was the victor in our little war, but there you are, strong as always. Maybe I should just acknowledge and embrace you as part of me. You surprise and startle me, and I have to move quickly, violently, to prevent the lash of words from flaying those close. I hate you to your essence. You lie to me, you tell me the truth, and I never know one from the other. I'm not going to read my own poem today. Um, oh, I know. Well, just, this is my favorite book, and I just got the title of it tattooed on my back. Um, Are you? Can we see? It's yeah. got a band about it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, Sorry. next time. I know. Is it back anymore? No. <laughs> um, I'm going to do. Uh, no. So, what's the title of it? The, the title of the book is called This Woman. <laughs> you get that tattoo, Uh huh. Um, the guy at the tattoo shop told me I was crazy. Mm -hmm. Then he was very happy to take my money anyway. Uh -huh. Wow. Well, <laughs> um, you can pay for crazy. Uh, yeah. That, I want to start doing that. Exactly. Everybody takes the good <laughs> You're crazy. You now owe me money. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to do two of her poems. This is called A Few Items to Consider. First, there is the scent of barley to remember barley and rain, the smooth terrain to recollect and savor, unforgiving whiteness of the room, ambiguity of linen, purity, mute and still as photographs on the moon. Everything here must be analyzed, cataloged, studied twice. A painstaking arrangement, almost vain, brandy glass with its one amber eye on the bedside table, shirt draped across the chair, Woolen trousers folded neatly in a square. Little clock repeating, precise, precise. Not a stray whisker, not a comb full of dead hair, no cup filled with coins and cufflinks and fingernail clippers. A scrupulous chess game, formal, concise. There is much to learn. Grace of the neck to memorize, heliotrope of sleep, hieroglyph of bones to decipher, love, if at all, comes later. <clears throat> For now, the hands take to their dialogue, gullible as foreigners, a greedy chattering, endlessly on nothing, nothing at all. The next one I will do, I'll do one more. This one is called Pumpkin Eater. I'm no trouble. Honest to God, I'm not. I'm not the kind of woman who telephones in the middle of the night, who told you that? Splitting the night like a machete before and after, after, before. No, no, not me. I'm not. The she who slings words bigger than rocks, sharper than Houdini knives, verbal Moldovs. The one who did that, you know if we, that wasn't me. I'm no hysteric, terrorist, emotional anarchist. 
I keep inside a pumpkin shell. There I do very well. Shut a blind eye to where my pumpkin eater roams. I keep like fruitcake, subsist on air. Not a worry nor care, please. I'm as free for the taking as the eyes of St. Lucy. No trouble at all. I swear, I swear, I swear. El Guapo. This is one I forgot.